exactly. Sabrina Silva is live at a celebration that the whole community is invited to attend. This is so great. Good morning. Yes, this is wonderful. Great way to spend his birthday at here. The, actually, hanging out with the community, with community members, Sojourner Truth Museum. And look at this. They just have all of these amazing paintings that truly represent the culture, represents the background. And we have a local artist over here who's actually just finishing up one of her paintings that you'll get to see if you come out to this celebration today. Now, what is your name? Shona McDaniels. Now, Shona, what are you painting for us here today? I'm painting uh, an image of it's a beautiful, beautiful wow. uh, African American girl. The piece is actually called Little Sister. Uh, Swahili, uh, Dada, Mdogo, and this piece will be showcasing uh, for Black History Month mm -hmm. at the Smud Gallery. So I'm really excited oh, about that. Very wow. Cool. Well, congratulations. You, you are from. Nice. Yes, and she's a great artist, and I absolutely love this. And I love this museum as well because there just truly is so much history and local history as well. And Michael Harris is here joining me this morning to talk about the big event that you've got going on to celebrate. His birthday. Now, what time does it kick off here? Well, we're here like noon until three, as we're, we're really going to have the kickoff of the year long celebration of MLK 50. This whole community uh, central with the library is celebrating 50 years of the Martin Luther King Library. So we're going to celebrate all year. Yes, and not only with art, but also with food. And we're going to check on that a little bit later on. But, Michael, why is it so important to hold something like this, not only on Martin Luther King Day, but also on his birthday? Well, the importance is, is to celebrate his whole life and not just one day uh, when people, you know, remember his speech dreaming but also understand he was a scholar. He actually was a PhD, you know, a theologian. You know, he went to college at a young age yeah. and, you know, lived in a time, he was born in 1929 cool. and lived in a very difficult time for our nation. Right. Mm -hmm. And he wasn't by himself, he was with a lot of people. And the women in particular in his life, the Women's Political Council in Montgomery, Alabama, that was uh, very instrumental yeah. And getting his global career started. Yeah. Uh, most people don't want to talk about the empowerment of black women, but they were the ones, the Women Political Council, that set him on his path. Yes, absolutely. And we're going to be talking a little bit more about the history and about the staple that he left here in our country, in the world, coming up later on in the 9 o'clock hour. But we'll toss it back to you all. Yeah. Fantastic. All right.